Welcome back. This is Just Ladies. I am Anjim Lai. And yes, today we do have Mudoni, the drama queen, with us. She graced our stage. Thank you very much about Thank that. You. And before we went for the short break, I was asking you, what do you think about Kenyan and us having our own sound? Because, you know, mm. when you hear Nigerian mm. music, you mm. even though you don't know whether it's from mm. there, you're just like, that's Nigeria. Mm. Or this is that. Mm. And this is that. Mm. What, what do you think about Kenyan music? Mm -hmm. This is good. <laughs> Um, this is good. This is good. Yeah. I feel like it should even be recorded on a phone. <laughs> so, yeah. so we can have this conversation. No, I really, I do believe that, um, contrary to the idea that we don't have Kenyan music, we do. We've had it. We've always had it. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like the original wave of, of Kenyan music or a close and authentic sound was yeah. Benga. Mm -hmm. And this is something that was created sort of as a fusion between, um, so the, the local yeah. understanding of the Kenyan musicians in mm -hmm. the late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. mixed with what they were hearing coming out of uh, Zaire then, which yeah. is the Congo now. Yeah. And these musicians would cross over, you know, through Tanzania and into Kenya. And so as they were going, these Kenyan musicians, based on the music that you knew, mm -hmm. you tried to imitate this, and then they mm -hmm. created this little cool fusion that then became Benga. Yeah. And Benga is truly authentic. And mm -hmm. I think that in every, almost every community in Kenya has its version. Like Kikuis have Kikui Benga, Kaos mm -hmm. have Kau Benga. Mm -hmm. Like we all that's have already Benga. there. <laughs> yeah. And then um, there was an update to the sound that was done uh, mm -hmm. and around, you know, the, I want to say late 90s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. you know, with the first wave of the Kenyan music, so the Nikis and the Kalamashakas yes. and the Intus, and that time was trying to say urban sensibility. So there's yes. all these people who've been born and raised in Nairobi mm -hmm. who grew up on Michael Jackson, etc., but are Nairobians mm. yes. and are Kenyans for mm -hmm. that matter and want to express something of their own environment exactly. and their own experience. And I think that that was the first wave. It didn't really have a sound, but mm -hmm. we recognized ourselves when we had this music. Yes. And then I feel like it consolidated or these ideas became solid mm -hmm. around uh, Kapuka, right? Yes. So. But at the same time Kapuka was happening, then you also had something like Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, which didn't mm. really fit a particular yeah. genre, but when you had it, it was like the best, best thing you'd yeah, ever had. Exactly. And to date, I think it's some of the best music that has ever been yes, produced. True. And so then you have this Kapuka phase. Mm. And I really truly believe Kapuka is authentic and is organic and is dope mm -hmm. as <laughs> any other thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because it was really about the, the real true experience of the people who were making it. Yeah. Then it stunted. And for me, this has been the big shame. It just, um, because it was coming out of this one particular studio and mm -hmm. this idea of exclusive and you had to be in the crew to get in and then even in the crew, like they would only release music in a certain way. So people mm -hmm. were excluded from this. Mm -hmm. And so you have all these other people who are like, you know, forget those guys who are making this Kapuka music anyway and not mm -hmm. saying anything meaningful. We're going yeah. to make our own music with our own version of the stories and that's how Clemo's studio came up, like, mm -hmm. in my view. Yes. Which is Genge, which mm. is another very extremely organic, authentic experience uh, yeah. of, uh, of urban uh, Nairobi. Yes. And I feel like a reflection of a lot of what happens in urban Kenya, particularly sort of informal, yeah. uh, the informal, um, informal neighborhoods, mm -hmm. or, you know, like old neighborhoods. Um, so that when you're in Madrengo and you mm -hmm. hear this thing that's being sung in Calif, you're able to connect. Yes. The story is the same. Yes. You know about the hassle, the struggles. You identify. Know. Correct. So I feel, as far as urban Kenyan music is concerned, you have two strong ideas. You have both Kapuka and Genge. Mm -hmm. You have a very strong heritage that we can borrow from, which is um, Benga. Yeah. And... And so now what is required is an update of all these things. Kapuka has got to progress. It's got to become more musical. It's got to be more inclusive. Yeah. It's got to borrow from uh, something that already, in my view, something that already exists. And that's either going to be uh, old Kenyan music mm -hmm. or uh, ethnic music of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So it's going to need to borrow drum sections from the Luya music or mm -hmm. drum sections from Luo music. And string sections it's going to need to borrow very organic uh, yeah. sounds and translate them you know Into. or it's going to need to sample old kenyan music and again mm -hmm. update it mm -hmm. or it's going to need to find a way to get the core elements of benga and mm -hmm. translate them right the yeah. sound has to progress into something 
a lot more inclusive, but also deeper. It's like more people can access it when they hear it. Yeah. And the way to do that is to make the sound deeper. So mm. either you come from an ethnic place or you come from an old place mm. because yeah, but the old places, everybody knows that music, right? Yeah. So if you sample Daudi Kabaka, for example, we already know Daudi Kabaka. Yeah. That sound is reminiscent of something. So if you update that sound, you're a score. Yeah. If you come from an ethnic place, if you're putting in, I don't know, your bottom music is coming yeah. from Luya music, it doesn't matter which kind of Kenyan you are. You've had like yes. some Luya music being played somewhere. You've <laughs> had those traditional weddings. drums, yes. weddings. You've had <laughs> Jeshi Lawakovu passing yes. outside and playing drums. I mean, you've heard mm. it. You mm. know it. So that's also something mm -hmm. that you can relate with. So curiously, that's actually my current project. And um, I'm working, I'm actually working with Blinky Bill. Mm -hmm. I'm working with uh, Drac from Patro. Oh. I'm working with um, uh, Kagwe Mungai. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'm working with my producers from Switzerland, Grook and yeah. uh, GR and Hook. So together they're called Grook. Mm -hmm. And that's our idea. Our thing is just that we need to update the, um, the yeah. music of Kenya. Because to me it's there. It's undeniable. Like mm -hmm. the way you feel when you're when you're dancing to a kapuka track that mm -hmm. that feeling is it's so, deep it's yeah. dope it feels good so what we really want to do i i think is just like update it mm -hmm. make it make it more musical make it broader mm -hmm. from a musical perspective add the elements that are missing to give it like real punch because mm -hmm. this is my thing pop music is great yeah but it's got to pop like <laughs> pop like the name pop, pop has to <laughs> pop you know what i mean like it yeah. can't be yeah, when you hear mediocre. it, you can't negotiate. Ah, mm. No, it can't be mediocre. You've no. got to, it's got to pop. And I just feel like from a production perspective, we, we became a little slack, a little lazy, mm, a little yeah. unwilling to bring in ideas. Mm. And which then brings me back to my original point, which is this thing is for creating. It's not yeah. for imitating. If you're trying to make a sound sound like Clemo, mm. then you're failed. The idea is Clemo has presented something yeah. can you innovate the thing that Clemo has presented so that and you can yeah. expand because yes. Clemo build that based on where he's coming from mm -hmm. but you're coming from something else maybe what you really truly love is rock yeah but maybe the strongest element of the rock like if you had to take away everything the thing that you truly love mm -hmm. is drums the rock drums so yeah. can you find a way to make that work on this yeah to me that's what's interesting but you know many people say Kenyan music it's so copy pasted like every yeah. every time when you hear any sound you're just like mm, that sounds like Rihanna exactly that sounds like this exactly. you know yeah so that that is a problem and I think Kenyan musicians should actually decide to change it yeah it's up to them they I think there's a few of us now who are yes, truly which, interested in, uh, in exercising creativity mm -hmm. I think the big thing here and this is not just a Kenyan music industry thing it's also like Kenyan fashion you go yeah. to town you really want to buy clothes but like there's 10 and stalls selling exactly the same, same thing. thing you Which go to annoying. the corner you want to buy furniture there's like 10, 10 stalls the that same all doing thing. the same thing yes. we do not trust the creative process we were not taught to trust the creative process we yeah. were taught to crumb and to remember things yes. and to pass at things right do you think we and should blame it for four a 100 <laughs> percent I, no, I can't tell you how many situations i've been in i walk into a room and i'm talking to people and in my head i'm like oh my god 844 yeah this is what 844 looks it's like true. when people are not able to um to tune into themselves and they don't know what they really are about yeah. they don't know what they like they are unwilling to try yeah and their unwillingness is coming from a place of fear they just don't know no yeah. one gave you the license to say to, to try something forget what forget doing something be someone like mm -hmm. who would that be yeah. and like to really truly encourage engage and reward mm -hmm. uh, creativity diversity yes. um, yeah. but we'll see you know maybe we'll be having this conversation three years from now when uh, <laughs> I'm now collaborating with Timberland and uh, uh, that would we have be exported amazing. the Kenyan sound I hope um, you won't hang up on me when I call you back no, no, girl, no, girl, no. no. Oprah, Oprah is calling me so please do not <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's talk about collaborations. You've done mm -hmm. a couple of them. Yeah. How do you decide who you're gonna do a collab with? Yeah. Because I've seen you've done one with um, number nine. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you decide who you're gonna do it with? Yeah. How do you mix your sounds? Yeah. So yeah, usually, okay. So before I'm, I'm before I'm a musician, I'm a mm. fan. Yeah. This is how also I came into music because I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. So collaborations are only with people that I am truly a fan of. Somebody mm -hmm. who I think mm -hmm. is doing something that's interesting or exciting or boundary pushing or that would challenge me. Yeah. Something that I acknowledge. Okay. So um, 
with Octo, I was a fan from the beginning. Mm. Dili is my, uh, my friend and yeah. uh, producer, and we worked together on, in the band. He's mm. in the band, so yeah. he was able to create that. Mm. Uh, on this current uh, album that's now out, um, um, MDQ Brigade, I have yeah. see a collaboration with uh, Wyclef. I've been a fan of Wyclef How, forever. Bro, that is amazing. And then the universe just aligned it, and we met, and we were talking, mm. and, and then he asked me to play him something, and then it's like, I would like to jump onto that. So it wasn't something I engineered. It's yeah. just people it that happened. you love, you, you attract them yeah. to your world. I have a collaboration with Kuli Chana from South Africa. Again, wow. I truly admire him. Turns out that he truly admires me, so... You just... So we just, you know, Universe just did its thing. Mm. Okay. One thing. Who's your dream collabor? Timberland. Really? Timberland. Timberland. <laughs> Timbo. Timbo. I hope he's watching the name. Timbo. 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 And yeah. I, for me, this is, a, is also one of, like, from my, from, my, from my soul to the universe. This is, this is also, like, um, on my list, mm -hmm. uh, the, one of the things where I'll be checking off and be like, I am truly and steady on the path. Yeah. Is... Uh, Timberland. When it happens with him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will call you back after you say three or three years. I'll be like, girl, yeah. did, she, did he call you? Girl, <laughs> how's your project going? I shall. And we're going to take a short break. I'm coming back with Mo of the Drama Queen. <laughs> okay, now, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. If you know you bad. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need 